Hello, I'm Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. Thank you so much for your time. I am continuing in the series, Black Lives Matter Investigation, Where is the Money? Today's focus is on Black Lives Matter, the Lake County chapter in Zion, Illinois. Again, today's focus is on the Black Lives Matter nonprofit organization located in Lake County, Zion, Illinois. And the question as always is, where is the tax-free money? So this is part two of the Black Lives Matter investigations. Part one focused on the 18 chapters underneath the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation umbrella. Part two focuses on the Black Lives Matter 501c3 nonprofit organizations. And these Black Lives Matter um, chapters or organizations actually earned 501c3 status from the Internal Revenue Service. So again, part one, focused on the Black Lives Matter chapters underneath the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, which did not have 501c3 status. Most of them did not have 501c3 status. And the second part focuses on the Black Lives Matter organizations that do have 501c3 status. Let's take a look at the Black Lives Matter 501c3 nonprofit organizations that I'm investigating. Thus far, you can see all of the Black Lives Matter 501c3 nonprofit organizations listed above the Black Lives Matter Lake County organization that I am investigating, that I am investigating now. I've already investigated all of the other ones. Charleston, South Carolina, Middleburg, Florida, Denver, Colorado, Canyon Country, California, Vancouver, Washington, Winoski, Vermont, Greater Atlanta, Georgia, and the Bronx, New York. You can go to my YouTube channel and look for Black Lives Matter investigations, and you will see the investigative results for all of the nonprofit organizations listed above this Zion, Illinois investigation that I am doing it, that I am investigating today. After that, the next one that I'm going to investigate is the Black Lives Matter Help Us nonprofit organization in Riverside, California, and then the Black Lives Matter Help Us organization in Seattle, Washington, the Black Lives Matter Help Us organization in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the one in Burlington, Vermont, and the one in Savannah, Georgia. There are a total of 14 Black Lives Matter entities that have earned 501c3 status according to the irs.gov website. So here are the investigative results for the chapters or the entities that I've already investigated. I will give you a moment just to look through the questions that I answer during my investigative um, studies, if you will, or my investigative research. The questions that I look for answers and then the answers. So the questions that I seek to answer for all of the Black Lives Matter entities that I investigate are as follows. I look for leadership names, the mailing address of the Black Lives Matter entity, the phone number, the social media platforms that it uses, whether or not it's registered with the Secretary of State's office in the state in which it operates, whether or not it has 501c3 status, if donations are accepted, if so, the donations processor, which platform processes the donations, and then the question, where is the money? And I asked the question about where is the money because Black Lives Matter entities and chapters generate revenues from people who give donations. And people give donations under the assumption 
that their donation will benefit the black community. That's the primary reason that they give donations is to benefit the black community. But in my research, I've learned that it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to track down the money. There is no transparent accountability for how Black Lives Matter entities or chapters use the money that people give to them to benefit the Black community. And I think that's terrible. If you give money in hopes to benefit the Black community and the money is not being used for that reason, that's fraud. And as you can see on this screen, the question of where is the money has an answer of unknown all the way across. And that means I've done my research and I've searched hard to try to find a paper tra trail, if you will, for the money that people give to these organizations and entities, and I cannot find it. I cannot find the money. So that's why I listed it as unknown. Now, let's look a little bit more. For the organizations that have the letter R in red, the R means revoked. That means they had an IRS 501c3 status at one time, but for whatever reason, the IRS revoked the status. Now, under Charleston, as you can see, the IRS 501c3 status is revoked, but if you go to the next row and the question, the question is donations accepted, are donations accepted, you see the answer is yes there? That's a problem. If your status is revoked, then why are you still accepting donations? That's fraud. And they are accepting donations through PayPal. So I don't know where the money goes. And that is the problem. So here are the answers to the questions for Bronx, New York. So were the leadership names listed when I did my investigation? Yes, I found leadership names. Didn't find a mailing address, didn't find a phone number. They do have a social media platform. They are registered with the Secretary of State's office. The status with the IRS is revoked. However, they are still accepting donations through PayPal, and I have no idea where the money is going because there's no transparency. I can't go and pull up a Form 990 information return. If their donations did not exceed $50,000, they won't be listed on Charity Navigator. So I don't know where the money is. Don't know. So now we're going to talk about investigation demonstration. For each investigation that I complete, I always demonstrate the steps that I use to come to the answers that I come to in the investigations. Again, for all of the chapters that I investigate, I always demonstrate how I come to the answers that I get. I don't want you to just take my word for it. I walk you through the steps to show you that my investigation results are accurate and valid. So I'm going to pause the screen for just one moment so that I can start the investigation process. So just one moment, please. I need to get to the websites that I'm using for my investigation. The first place that I'm going to go to investigate the Black Lives Matter um, Lake County entity in Zion, Illinois, is I am going to go to the irs.gov website just to show you the process that I use to walk you through the steps to getting the, the right answers to the questions that I posed. So now you are looking at the irs.gov website where I always go to check the status of 501c3 nonprofit organizations. And you can use the same steps that I use to check the status of any nonprofit. And I highly encourage you to do that because this is fundraising season coming up. And that means a lot of nonprofit organizations are going to be reaching out to you for tax deductible donations. So in order to authenticate whether or not they are actually a tax deductible organization or an organization that has the ability to claim tax deductible donations, you want to come here 
and just check the status. So let me go back. I'm going to take a step back in the path here and go to tax exempt organization search. So when you come to irs.gov, you can go into the search and you can type in tax exempt organization search to get to this page. If you want to go to the search option right away from the home page, or if you prefer, you can follow this path, home, charities and nonprofits, search for charities and click on tax exempt organization search. As you can see, I've already typed in Black Lives Matter in the search term, and I'm searching by organizational name. Now, if you have the EIN for an organization, you can also search by employer identification number or EIN. But I'm going to search by the term Black Lives Matter. And I clicked on search. I'm going to click on search. And now you will see a list of 20 results for um, Black Lives Matter, the Black Lives Matter entities. And the entities, if they're listed here, that means they have earned 501c3 status. And I'm kind of shocked as I'm reading this 20 because the last time I checked, there were only 14, as I referenced in my PowerPoint, only 14 501c3 entities with Black Lives Matter in the name. So I have to update my PowerPoint because apparently since I created a video the last time, six more entities have earned 501c3 status. But for now, we're going to focus on the one that's the topic of our discussion today, and that is the one for uh, Black Lives Matter Lake County in Zion, Illinois. So I'm going to click on that link to that particular Black Lives Matter 501c3 entity. Now here, as soon as I click on it, you can see that it has Black Lives Matter Lake County. That's, the, that's what they go by. That's how they're recognized. And the employer identification number is here. 82-085-4788 is always a nine digit number. And they're located in Zion, Illinois in the United States. Any other names that may go by are listed here, Black Lives Matter Lake County, same name. And they do have a determination letter and a favorable determination letter is issued by the IRS if an organization meets the requirements for tax exempt status under the code section the organization applied. And if you want to, you can click on determination letter to see the actual letter. What happens is when you click on the letter, it will automatically go to um, your desktop where you can save it on the desktop and then open it up. So that's what I'm going to do. And it takes a few moments for that letter to open up because it's coming up as a TIFF file. So I'm just gonna continue on talking until it comes up, okay? So here's the determination letter. So it lets you know they did earn 501c3 status. And they do, um, they are eligible to receive tax deductible donations by this notation right here. And they are, the deductibility code that it has is PC, which means public charity. PC is a public charity. And that means they, um, donors can deduct 50% or 60% for cash contributions. So 50% of other contributions, other types of contributions are 60% of cash contributions. Now we'll scroll down and we'll see that they did file a Form 990N e-postcard. And that means organizations who have filed a Form 990 e-postcard, annual electronic notice. That's what this means. They've already done that. Most organizations that receive less than $50,000 per year in gross revenues, regardless of where they come from, fall into this category. And so if you click on this link, it shows you that for tax year 2019, they did file a Form 990N e-postcard, meaning that their gross receipts were not greater than $50,000. And you can learn more information about this organization. You have the mailing address, so that would be yes on the question. 
you have the principal officer's name, which is Clyde McLemore, and the EIN, the tax period, and the name of the organization. So that lets you know that this organization is in good standing with the IRS. It has a 501c3 status, so that's very good. I'm gonna pause the screen just for a moment to see if the determination letter has displayed yet. So thank you again for your patience, but it's important to me that I demonstrate or prove to you that I'm not just sharing information that hasn't been proven. I'm sharing information that has been proven. So now I'm going to share with you the actual determination letter um, from the IRS that this organization earned. Just one moment, you should be seeing that letter in just a second. Okay, so here is the letter that they earned from the IRS. So as you can see, the date that the IRS um, sent the letter is October the 8th, 2019. And it has Black Lives Matter, Lake County, the mailing address. And if you look over to the right, this is very important. The accounting period ending is December the 31st. That means their um, fiscal year ends on December the 31st. And their effective date of exemption is September the 30th, 2019. And this is what the IRS uses to determine when your Form 990 information returns are due each year. I'm not gonna elaborate on that. I'm just going to um, leave that there because the purpose of this demonstration is to show you that they do have an employee identification, they do have, excuse me, a determination letter, which is an approval letter from the IRS that says, dear applicant, we're pleased to tell you we determine you're exempt from federal income tax under Internal Revenue Code IRC Section 501c3. So that's a letter that most people, that all people who apply for 501c3 status look to get, look forward to getting. I laminated mine. I was so happy to get it. I laminated it. I laminated a copy of it to show potential funders. So I'm going to, again, pause the screen so that I can show you something else. And again, thank you for your patience in allowing me to do this. But I think it's important that you are able to see that you are able to see what I share. So again, I'm pausing the screen. Sorry about that technical difficulty there. Now I want to share with you, I want to share with you um, a website notification or, or an article from the Chicago Tribune that shows a special announcement about the Black Lives Matter um, Lake County entity. According to this article in, a, in the Chicago Tribune dated August 10th, 2020 by Steve Sadeen, the title is, we have to have, we had to have brick and mortar. Black Lives Matter opens, I do not know how to pronounce his name. This name, is it Waukegan Office, okay? So this is just a very special announcement about the Black Lives Matter Lake County um, organization, they are opening an office. This is, this is a ribbon cutting ceremony. They are opening an office to provide services for their community. And I think that's fantastic. I think it's fantastic. So this is the article. Of course, I'm not going to read it to you, but I just wanted you to see that this is an organization that seems to be planning to provide resources for the community. They have their own, like they said, brick and mortar building that they are using to meet the needs of the community. And if you read the article, then you will learn what type of services they are providing through this office. But again, I commend them on their transparency and on what they are doing. It's important to note that this Black Lives Matter nonprofit entity is not affiliated with the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. It's not one of its chapters, and that is a good thing. And if you're wondering why I'm saying that is a good thing, 
then look back at some of my videos and you will understand what I mean. So they are a 501c3 nonprofit organization in Lake County, um, Zion, Illinois, that's trying to do great things in the community and they opened a brick and mortar space to provide services and I think that's fantastic. I'm gonna pause my screen again so that I can pull up another, another um, piece of evidence, if you will. Now, if Black Lives Matter entities have earned 501c3 status, then they should be registered with the Charity Navigator. Charity Navigator is one of the so-called watchdog organizations that monitor nonprofit organizations. And this Black Lives Matter Lake County is in its database, but it doesn't have any information per se about them except for the name and where they're headquartered and their EIN and the fact that donations are tax deductible and they are classified as a civil rights advocate advocacy for specific groups and their tax ruling year is 2019 but they don't have to file they don't have to have a score from charity navigator because charity navigator only provides scores for organizations that do not file the form 990n remember the form 990n is filed when you earn less than fifty thousand dollars and charity navigator does not provide a score for nonprofit organizations that don't pro, that don't earn more than fifty thousand dollars a year, so that's why it's not listed here. So I'm going to close this um, pause sharing. I'm going to close this Charity Navigator, and the next thing you will see will be the office of the Illinois Secretary of State's office. When you have a 501c3 designation, you must be registered with the Secretary of State's office. You have to because you cannot get a 501c3 designation without being registered with the Secretary of State's office in the state in which you plan to operate. So what you're looking at now is the office of the Illinois Secretary of State's office. And I've already searched for this particular Black Lives Matter entity, and as you can see, they are listed and they are active. Black Lives Matter, Lake County. They are listed with the Secretary of State's office and they are active. Here you see the entity type, type of corporation, date of incorporation, which is March 17th, 2017, and the duration is perpetual. Now, let me highlight something here that's very, very, very important. As you can see, the incorporation date is March 17th, 2017. That means they were incorporated in the state of Illinois a full two years prior to earning 501c3 status. That's important. Because the IRS will revoke your 501c3 status automatically if you fail to file your Form 990 information return for three consecutive years. Three consecutive years from the time of incorporation on the state level. And what messes people up is they think it's three years from the date on their determination letter. No, 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 no. It's three years from the date in which you filed. So I hope this organization has gone to retroactively file their Form 990 2018 and their Form 990 2019. Not gonna get into that too much, but this is how a lot of people lose their status because they think that revocation date goes back to the date on the determination letter when it actually goes back to the date of incorporation, which is right here. Okay, so the agent name is listed there, Mr. Clyde McLemore, the address and the de change date. And then the annual report that they filed, they filed their annual report, which is due at all Secretary of State's offices. You have to file an annual report each year. 
they filed theirs on July the 12th, 2020. So they are in good standing. They are in good standing with the Secretary of State's office. So I'm going to pause my screen one more time to demonstrate something to you. And that is, I'm going to now show the Black Lives Matter Facebook page because I learned they do not have a website. So they communicate using the social platform of Facebook. So here's their Facebook page, Black Lives Matter Lake County, Illinois. And they have 2.3 thousand members on the Facebook page. They don't have very much about themselves here. It just says, with racial disparities affecting our city, schools, and homes, it's important for us to engage in dialogue and address the problem head on. So what do they do? I have no idea. I have no idea what they do because they don't, they don't really say. And I mean, what they do, I mean, what are you providing in the community? Are you providing financial assistance for people who are facing hard times? Are you providing food for people who need food, clothing? I don't know what you're doing. So, but this is their social media platform, which is Facebook. Now I'm gonna pause my screen so that I can return to the PowerPoint presentation and finish up our conversation. Thank you so much for your patience with me um, going from screen to screen. But I think it's important, like I said, for you to be able to see um, what I'm sharing. So now we're back to the PowerPoint presentation. And I've already demonstrated the investigation, the steps that I use to investigate. So here's the answer to Zion, Illinois. The questions, here's the answers to the questions. The leadership names are listed. The mailing address is listed. I didn't see a phone number. The social media platform is Facebook, so they do have one. They are registered in good standing with the Secretary of State's office. They are registered in good standing with the IRS. I did not see where they accept donations, and I did not see a donations processor. So if they are earning money, I don't know where it is. So this, these are the answers to the questions for Zion, Illinois, Black Lives Matter, Lake County. In closing, where I stand, where do I stand regarding Black Lives Matter? As a Black woman, it is hard for me to disclose the information that I've shared through these investigations. This is not something that I take pride in, but it makes me angry to know that people have literally given millions of dollars to the Black Lives Matter chapters, entities, not to mention the so-called headquarters of Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. And nobody knows where the money is. I have yet to see anything that says sponsored by Black Lives Matter. And that makes me upset. So I support the Black Lives Matter slogan. I would be foolish not to support a slogan that talks about me. So I support the Black Lives Matter slogan, but I do not support the Black Lives Matter so-called movement. I don't support the protests. I don't support the chapters. I don't support the entities because they do not have any formal leadership structure. You cannot be successful without a leader, a good, honest leader with high integrity. Black Lives Matter does not have that. There are no measurable objectives or goals that you can determine how well an entity or a chapter is doing. No standard operational practices at all no financial transparency or accountability, and there's no valid sustainability and long-term plans. You can see for yourself that since the George Floyd murder, murder and the protests, how things have decreased, if you will, in terms of protests and demonstrations, and that's to be expected. There will never be a time when you will see people from around the world protesting under the banner of Black Lives Matter 
the way that they did this summer. You will never see it again. That was a one and done because people are tired, okay? That was a one and done that generated millions of dollars to blacklivesmatter.com, which is the website for the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. And we don't know where that money is. And if I had donated money, I would want some type of accountability for the money that I gave. How is it being used? What improvements are being made in the black community? Look around your black community and you tell me what has Black Lives Matter done in your community that you can point to in a tangible way. People often ask, well, since you don't support the Black Lives Matter movement, protests, entities, chapters, what should I support? What should I, where should I invest my money to help the Black community? I recommend the Equal Justice Initiative. It's not just a Black organization per se, but it helps people who have been falsely incarcerated and it helps them get the legal assistance that they need to get out of jail, frankly. And it was started by Brian Stevenson. And you may have heard of him. He is a famous lawyer who has focused his life on helping people get out of prison who've been falsely incarcerated. And the website is www.eji.org. And here you can see on this page is where our illustrious late Congressman John Lewis shared insights with Brian Stevenson. It's a wonderful conversation. So this is one place that I would suggest if you would like to help the black community, I would emphasize or recommend considering the Equal Justice Initiative. I want to thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel, Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. I have more information on this channel besides results of the Black Lives Matter investigations. I provide a lot of information about the work that I do to help people start, fund, manage, sustain, and reinstate 501c3 nonprofit organizations there. So again, thank you so much for your support. Do me a favor and click on the subscribe button so that you can be alerted whenever I upload other videos. I would love to have a thumbs up if you feel like I deserve it. And finally, click on the bell option so that you can get, again, an automatic notification of when I upload information. To learn more about me, you can visit my website at www.trustsusanwoods.com. Follow the hashtag, hashtag BLM Investigations, and hashtag defund Black Lives Matter. I also have a BLM Investigations, a Black Lives Matter Investigations group page on Facebook. So come and join us. It's a safe environment for you to share your thoughts and opinions around Black Lives Matter. Again, I'm Susan Woods. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.